Hi, I'm Peter Shanholt, and Cindy and I have been members of St. Paul's since 1989. And during that time, we've continued to support St. Paul's, and now St. Paul's is our number one contribution that we make. And this is stewardship time. And let me explain to you why we make St. Paul's number one. Because there's a lot of very deserving groups out there. Uh, the hospitals, the schools, our children, uh, social programs, all are very valid and deserve our support. But we view St. Paul's as when we give to St. Paul's, it's like throwing a pebble in a pond. The ripples go out and out and out and cover all those different areas that I mentioned, whether it be through uh, the homeless through Home and Hope, whether it be through making sandwiches for the volunteers at Samaritan House. Um, it's, it's the St. Paul's people that work at the hospital, that support the library, that do all the things that need to be done in our community. So we give to St. Paul's as a way of giving to all the other groups because the ripples of St. Paul's do impact them all. So during this, this week, as you think about how you want to support St. Paul's, I hope you'll consider uh, giving generously and enormously because St. Paul's needs to be a force for not just good, but also for hope and joy and your contribution would help. Cindy and I actually are not in the area anymore. We moved to Phoenix, Arizona about a year ago. And we still support St. Paul's because the community is that important. Thank you very much. God bless you and God bless St. Paul's. Thanks now.